A very rich lady who wants to get rid of her husband. He's a rat. He beats her up. He's just a nasty dude. She wants to get rid of him. She's going to pay you $10 million. All you have to do when she takes him out of a room is step through a door where you've been hiding, drop an arsenic pill into his coffee, and you get $10 million. Would you do it? And you will not get caught, once again, for sure. Yes. What about you? Do it for free. Don't cut it out. <laughs> no, I would. You'd kill a guy if he was a rat? If, yeah, if he was evil enough and did the bad things. You'd just take him out. Boy, remind me never to upset you. <laughs> and he's your friend? Yes, yes. Be nice to him, okay? So, um, would you do it $10 million? Yes. So you'd become a murderer for $10 million? The guy asking the questions here is Ray Comfort, better known as Banana Man. He's posing an interesting ethical question. If a nasty dude is beating up his wife, would you kill him if all you had to do was put poison in his drink and you were guaranteed not to get caught? There are all sorts of reasons why people might say yes to this question. Perhaps they imagine the woman is in danger of being killed or maimed. A lot of women do kill abusive husbands in fear of their lives, and the courts often deal with them very leniently. Comfort throws in a sweetener of $10 million, but as the guy on the left, Lorenzo, says, he'd do it for free, so the money isn't a consideration. A lot of creationists would probably answer yes to the same question, so Lorenzo and Adrian come across as intelligent, rational, and sympathetic to a victim's plight. That'll never do for a creationist video. Ray, these guys are supposed to be evil. Quick, get this video down to the editing room and lay a different voice track over the top. I've got another dilemma for you. This lady wants to get rid of her husband. She says he's a rat. All you have to do is drop one tablet of arsenic into his coffee when he's not looking. You will get away with it, you'll not get caught, and she'll give you $10 million cash. Would you do it? So now the question is different. The potential murder victim is no longer a nasty dude beating up his wife. Now he's just an innocent husband. His only crime appears to be that his wife thinks he's a rat. The only incentive to kill him is $10 million. That's better. Would you do it? Yes. What about you? Do it for free. Don't cut it out. <laughs> so while they give the same answer as before, Ray simply changed the question he voiced over the top. And that transforms them from being decent guys wanting to help a woman being victimised by her husband into two monsters who are quite willing to murder an innocent man. We've seen this kind of editing before in creationist videos. Answers are cut, chopped up and hidden inside cutaways, so the interviewee ends up appearing to say something contrary to what he actually said. Sometimes the question cuts directly to the answer of a completely different question, or, as Comfort has done, a new question is voiced over the original one. Of course it's dishonest, but Comfort makes a career out of saying we're all sinners, so if he can portray people as willing to murder someone for money, then that vindicates and confirms what he's preaching. And Comfort also preaches that we're all liars, but apparently it's OK to lie as long as you've been saved by Jesus. I'm afraid Comfort can't be nominated for a Golden Crocoduck for this piece of fakery because he's already won the award back in 2009, but an eagle-eyed subscriber to my channel spotted it and suggested that Comfort's subterfuge needed to be more widely appreciated, and I'm happy to oblige.